Sopchinski. Diver number two, representing Australia, Madison Keeney. Diver number three, representing Malaysia, Nervita Sabri. Diver number four, representing Australia, Esther Chin. Diver number five, representing China, Lin Chu. And diver number six, representing China, Han Wong. Representing the United States of America, Deirdre Freeman and Maren Taylor. Representing Australia, Whitney Grover. <laughs> representing Australia, Melissa Wu. Representing Canada, Selena Top. <laughs> and diver number five, representing China, Si Yu Ji. Good luck athletes, you may now warm up for your event. guys from um hi we are from china Levin team and good luck to all the chinese here in australia how are you finding diving outside and not inside in arena uh, the wind is very strong lots of adjusting for our chinese but they're doing really well uh, we wish them all the best good luck for china yeah Thank you. Hey guys, welcome back. We've got Pandalea here from Malaysia. Hello, how are you? Hi. Now, Pandalea is our first bronze medalist for Malaysia. Congratulations on that. That was well done. Thank you very much. How are you enjoying here in Australia? Oh, I found that Australia is very good and the weather is nice. And the outdoor pool is very challenging for us divers, but it's very, I'm very excited for the competition. I was going to ask you much difference because many places is indoor diving and here in Australia here is outdoor so with the wind factor all that is, is much harder. Yeah, like what I said just now it's very challenging but yes. it will be a very good place for me to get used for the and prepare for the real Rio games. games. And now the synchro is coming up tomorrow. Uh, how do you think you're going and which, which teams are the ones to watch out for? Um, Tomorrow competition will be very tough yes. with the uh, participants from China and of course from Australia and I think Canada. Yeah. So I'll try my best, me and my partner, we train together for so long for this competition and we hope for the best and China is definitely the, the diverse that we are looking to uh, watch out for. Well, I wish you all the best for Malaysia. Thank you. All the best and maybe and congratulations and Rio Olympics, the big one. Okay, thank you. Yes, we're here with Mirren and Jess, all the way from America. Diving team, it's all happening. How's it looking for you girls in the lead up for the big one on Sunday, the finals? Uh, well, so Jess is actually diving in the finals tomorrow. Wow. And um, yeah, so yeah, I'm doing a um, 10 meter synchro with my partner Amy Kozad, so I'm really excited for that. And yeah, so. And I'll be diving in the 3 meter synchro on Sunday with my partner. And um, yeah, this is, our, this is our first competition in Australia, so we're just really excited to compete and have fun. 
And how long have you guys been in the game doing the diving so far for this lead up for this comp here now? Uh, so we've been training, our season just started, so yep. we kind of just started training a few months ago for, for this year, um, but it is the Olympic year, so we've kind of started hitting it pretty hard, and this is a really good meet um, as a warm-up for our prep for World Cup um, in the spring, and so we've been, this is just a good kind of training meet that we've been looking at. It's good to dive outside like in all the elements and see how we can cope with that leading up until the winter time and then hopefully summertime. Yeah. I was going to ask you at the outdoor, because um, I see a lot of uh, the divers <laughs> dropping caps or something, is that like for the wind flow or something, or is it is it harder doing it outside than inside? Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, you deal with like things that you would never deal with inside, like the wind and the sun and there's shadows everywhere and I mean just the way you are visually seeing things in the air when you're flipping is completely different because everything is the same color, wow. um, so that's really distracting. So if you like throw your cap or stand me down, you can kind of see the water better and see how you can, I guess, spot better when you're doing the dives. And background for you guys, have you um, been in other sports before you decided to go into dive? Like acrobatics or anything like that, dance? Uh, I was in gymnastics when I was little. And totally Does help? Out. Yeah, I was too. Yeah. I did gymnastics till I was a teenager, so wow. it definitely helps. Yeah. It's all there. Well, guys, I know you're busy. Uh, it's all pumping here, the adrenaline. So good luck in the thank in these you. games and, and a big one in the Rio Olympics there. Yeah, thank all you right. so much. Thank you. See you then. Bye for now. Bye. Woo. Here with the Aussie diving team, Brittany and Annabelle. Girls, how are you? Good, thank, thank you. <laughs> now, guys, we're in the lead up for the big one on Sunday, the grand final here on the Gold Coast. Now, Brittany, you're looking pretty good. Um, I'm actually not. I'm finished now. I'm not oh, competing okay. on Sunday, but I think yeah. Annabelle's competing on Sunday. Annabelle, Sunday. yes? Yeah, I've got synchro final on Saturday, so wow. looking forward to that. Now, how's training been going with the synchro? You've been doing it for quite a while? Yeah, we have been doing it for quite a while, but we live in different states now, so it makes wow. it a little bit more difficult. Um, but, yeah, we've had a few training sessions over the last couple of days, so it should be good. So how does that work, like, living in different states? Do you just train separately and then pair up at the end, or yeah. how does it go? Well, we just train individually, and then um, every now and again we travel to each other's states and then train synchro for a few days. Cool. Now, any, any big medals up your sleeve? Brittany? Oh, I won silver at the Olympics. Wow, that's pretty good. That's pretty yeah. good. I was speaking to actually to Matt Mitchum and he told me a little bit about you. So he said, oh. she's the girl to watch out for. Oh. So um, you're on the way um, for the Rio Games. This is only a small event for the big lead up. Correct, correct. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And, and now our two girls, Brittany, where are you from? Uh, Gold Coast. From yeah. the Gold Coast, that's yeah. good, way to go. And of course... I'm from Melbourne. From Melbourne, wow. It's good to gather together with all the teams and um, how are you finding the rivalry with all the divers? Oh, pretty good. good. I think it's... Yeah. And there's not that many countries here, but I mean China here is here and America's here, so I think they're two um, big competitions for us and Malaysia as well. To watch out for, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, um, hobby-wise, what do you do when you get away? Because I know it's so strenuous with swimming, like the swimming teams and the diving teams. What do you do when you're away from the dive? Um, I like to just yeah. <laughs> or relax. go to the beach or yes. something like that. Yeah. Sounds good. Have a well, massage. Yeah. Have a massage. Well, that's even more relaxing, eh? Hey? Yeah. with friends. <laughs> <laughs> Go cool. to the movies. Now you guys are both still at school? No. I'm uni? at uni. Uni, yeah, yep, yeah. yep, yep. And what are you studying? There's probably uh, studying, health and fitness. Yeah, I'm studying exercise and sports science. Wow, well, that's pretty close. And, and I'm pretty. doing skin dermatology. Oh, okay. So you'll know which pools to stay out of. Yeah. <laughs> Saltwater pools are best, eh? Hey? Yeah. Okay, guys, I know you're really busy. I better let you get out there and do some more dives. Until next time, good luck in those Rio Olympics. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey guys. <laughs> and we are here yeah, with the Canadian diving team. It is going right. off here. Guys, how are you? We're doing Great. Well. <laughs> now tell us guys, we're from all different parts of Canada. 
Give us some towns and cities where you're from. I'm from Edmonton. I'm from Ottawa. I'm from uh, Victoria, BC. And I'm from Montreal. Wow, very scattered. And um, these are the elite of Canada diving team. Looking good. Now guys, training up to this one here. This is the first big one for you, for the big one for the Rio. How's it looking here in Australia for you guys? How about we get? Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, it's absolutely yeah. beautiful. We're all, I think, really happy to be here. It's a beautiful place. It's sunny and it's getting pretty cold back home. So. Yeah, we're ha better to be here than home oh, right now. So. And um, you guys uh, most probably train indoors. How are you finding the outdoor sort of uh, uh, atmosphere here with the diving? It's always great to get a little sun on our skin and get that vitamin D. It's a good <laughs> feeling. How are you going with the wind factor with the dives? Well, that's fun. Uh, 10 meters is a little bit scary with the wind, but yesterday didn't go too bad, um, and it was a little bit dark, so hopefully tomorrow will be better. And you get used to it. You get used to the wind, and your dive just kind of gets better with more days to practice. Guys, good luck in the big one here and of course the uh, Rio Games. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Diver number one representing Malaysia, Ahmed Ansiar Asman. Diver number two representing Australia, Matthew Mitchum. Diver number three representing Australia, Joshua Cahagis. Diver number four, representing United States of America, Michael Hickson. Diver number five, representing United States of America, Darian Schmidt. And diver number six, representing China, Bowen Wang. I love my cozy and I love my head Where it's had me, that's where I'm at Where well, you stay right there Then I will come to you with the time with Pink Sabaroo Hey guys, welcome back to Pink Sabaroo Big, huge, we've got Michael Jackson here Welcome back to the wrestling, Australasia wrestling here And we've got Jake and Giant Coyote here Hey guys, we're back to Peter Sefru, Benny Frieda, and Wow, well, hey, hey, peace on the real Kuraka. You India, won't come as India. a shocker. We're going on. No, there's nothing I will yeah, not yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Got a camera yeah, and a mic, and I know I've got the right. So I'm coming for you. On Peter Sefru, I can spin the man of this. And I'll tell you a story like no hey, one else can do. So if you want to chat with me, I'll put your face on the TV. Hang with me on Pizza Peru. I love my cozy and I love my head. TNT, you're on the TV. That's where I'm at. Yeah. Well, you stay right there. And I will come to you with some time. Sandy the Mermaid. See you soon. We're out of here. Yeah. Hey guys, and welcome back. We're here with Josh and Matt here, our diving team. Of course, we've got uh, they're in the synchro and of course singles as well. And we've got um, Matt, Josh. 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 He's competing on Sunday. Um, how's it looking for you, mate? Yeah, it's going really well. Um, definitely wasn't um, expecting to make the finals since this is my first senior meet. Uh, but lucky I did. So yeah. And mate, uh, how long have you been in the game? You look like a bit of a young lad, mate. I've been going for about eight years now. Oh, wow. <laughs> but, um, this week, I uh, unfortunately haven't dived too well and not performed as well as I could. So, didn't get into the semis or finals. So. Now, with these comps, with this comp here on the Gold Coast, it, it doesn't really qualify for the Rio or no, points, no. minus points for you guys no. or anything? No. no, it doesn't. So this is just a big warm-up for you? Yes. Yeah. There's a December competition that will be a lead-up for uh, uh, World Cup trials yep. and um, also Olympic selection and stuff. So okay. that, that's, this is like a practice event for seniors for that. Yep. Well, it's a good, good way to go here on the Gold Coast. Um, yeah. Now, you guys live apart too, different states. 
Yes. So it's another one that's pretty hard to train for the synchro. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so we um when we're at these meets we train uh, probably have about three days to train or in, in between our own. Um, Training for our own dives, yep. individuals. So yeah, it's just a bit difficult, but um, it's not impossible. So, yeah. Well, guys, I know you're busy too. Lots of stuff to do, training, psyching yourself in for it. I um, hope you do really well, and of course, get in those uh, Rio Olympics there and, and just kill it for Australia. Thank All the you. best, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So welcome back to Peter Surferu. We've got the German diving squad here. Stefan and Patrick Vigates. Good, danke, danke. Good. <laughs> Now, in these guys have just come over from Germany to compete in this big event here. We're going to uh, turn it over to German now, just for you guys out there. Um, wie lange du hier schon diving zusammen, Stefan? Also zusammen springen wir vielleicht seit sechs, sieben Jahren sechs, ungefähr, sieben. denke ich. Ähm, allerdings schon etwas vorher im Einzelbereich tätig gewesen. Also ich springe persönlich schon seit 20 Jahren. Wow. Also schon eine sehr lange Zeit. Und Patrick, wie lange bist du schon Diving? Und Auch seit 20 Jahren mittlerweile. Wow. Ähm, seit 1996 und ja, wenn man jung ist, hat man noch keine synchronen Partner oder springt man noch nicht so oft im Team, aber jetzt so sechs, sieben, acht Jahre sind wir dann auch schon äh, zusammen tätig. Und Sie tun Single und äh, Synchronized? Ja, genau. Ja. Oh, genau. Das ist gut. Und wie findet es jetzt hier in Australien, weil viele Divingplätze sind indoors und hier ist es heraus. Ist das schwerer oder ist es besser? Also ähm, besser kann man nicht sagen, schwieriger auf jeden Fall, weil ja. wir haben natürlich Wind und Sonne und auch mal schlechtes Wetter, Regen, es ist kälter. Ja. Das sind alles so Dinge, wo es, wo es schwieriger ist, draußen zu springen, aber da die Rio Olympics ja auch äh, Outdoor sind, ja. müssen wir probieren, so oft wie möglich draußen zu trainieren, um uns an alles zu gewöhnen. Und uh, in der Background, du darfst viel Sport machen, aus von dem Diving, du ja in Gymnasium gehen, dass man das Muskel und, und Schwimmen oder nur Diving? Ähm, nein, also man macht schon äh, nebenbei äh, Ausgleichssportarten. Also wir ja. sind nicht nur äh, im Sprungbecken unterwegs, sondern wir machen auch viel auf Trampolinen, koordinative Sachen, auf ähm, Akrobahn, also auf schwingenden Unterflächen. Ja. Äh, wir spielen auch Fußball oder diverse andere Spielsportarten. Aber kein Rugby. Kein Rugby, nur Soccer, ne? Kein Rugby, nur Soccer, ja. Ähm, ja, und auch, wir gehen natürlich auch mal schwimmen. Also ja. von daher äh, machen wir viel, viele Dinge, die ähm, eigentlich so ein Sportler auch tut. Alles, was sportlich ist, ist immer ganz gut. Das ist ganz gut. Und ähm, habt ihr schon probiert, Surfing hier in Australien? <lacht> äh, keine Zeit. Keine Zeit. Ja. Und wir haben auch in wir sind Deutschland hat kaum gute Surfer, weil wir keinen Ozean haben und <lacht> keine Wellen, wo man äh, mal schnell surfen gehen kann. Und wir haben auch keine Zeit, um noch surfen üben zu können. Und ich denke auch darauf, äh, Skifahren und Snowboarding kennen Sie auch nicht so viel, weil wenn Sie einen Fuß brechen oder den Beinen, dann können Sie nicht mehr diven. Da muss man recht aufpassen. Ja, man muss immer aufpassen, was man ähm, neben dem Springen so tut, weil Verletzungsgefahr ist immer da. Allerdings Skifahren, Snowboarding gehört einfach mit dazu, weil no risk, no fun, yeah. muss man einfach so sagen. Und ähm, man kann auch äh, morgens aus dem Bett aufstehen und sich den Fuß brechen, also von yeah. daher. <lacht> no risk, no fun. Ja, yeah, that's it. Und äh, ich weiß, jetzt hat es ganz busy und ich frage dich nur einmal, äh, Medal, wie viel Medal habt ihr jetzt schon zusammen? Und wo, wo habt ihr die Medaille alle gewonnen? Wart ihr schon in vielen Olympiaden und Commonwealth Games? Um, nee, ja, Commonwealth wir, sind Commonwealth ja, Games. wir sind ja kein Commonwealth Games. Sie kennen nicht Rierwelt, nein. Ja, genau. Ähm, Europameisterschaften, also Kontinentalmeisterschaften, yes. haben wir schon vier Medaillen gewonnen. Also fünf, fünf sogar, wow. schon. sechs. Das ist gut. Sechs, sechs ja. Manometer. Ja, mittlerweile ja. über die Jahre kommt da viel zusammen. Ja. Äh, wir haben schon beim Weltcup Silber gewonnen. Wir sind und vielfach deutscher Meister. Bei Olympia waren wir auch schon, aber noch nicht zusammen. Ja. Da ist nur jeder alleine gesprungen. Aber das wollen wir nächstes Jahr angreifen. Und für Rio sieht es gut aus für euch beide? Das werden wir im Februar dann spätestens sehen, ob ja. wir äh, dann auch zu den Olympischen Spielen dürfen und auch zusammenspringen dürfen. Weil dann dort die Qualifikation für die letzten Quotenplätze im ja. Synchronspringen ist. Und ja, das Ziel ist auf jeden Fall, dass wir dort den Quotenplatz uns holen und dann auch in Rio starten können. Wow, danke schön für, für die Zeit. Ihr seid Kein ganz Problem. busy. Good luck mit dem Zeug und habe gute Zeit hier in Australien. Vielleicht sehen wir euch wieder später in die uh, Diving Competitions. Ja, danke. 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 Ciao. Bye. Tschö.
Hey guys, and welcome back to Pete the Surferoo. Hi Pete, keep up the good work, you thumping surferoo. Bodacious. Hi Pete the Surferoo, Mark Wahlberg here. No, I'm not doing television anymore, I'm too old for television. You've got to be dirty and stupid. James here from New South Wales Fire Rescue. Guys, catch him. Yeah. Jack Thompson, Good international day. Australian film star, mate. It's Thank a pleasure you. to meet you, mate. It's great to be here. Makes you young and trendy now. <laughs> yeah. The Tony Bonner, how are you mate? Thank you. Hi Pete, how's it going? I'm an actress from the new uh, film coming out on Thursday, screening the Gold Coast Film Festival. All the way from California, it's Elvis. I'm Courtney Atkinson mate, how are you? I'm good, myself. Oh good mate. Charlene, how are you? I'm great, how are you? Good. Something big, huge. We've got Michael Jackson here. Famous Gold Coast meter mate. Hi Pete, how are you? We've got over 400 reptiles. How you going there, Jack? A real Aussie animal. Smoky koala bear here. Oh, 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 oh. Hello, Pete. Hi, Michael. How are you? Good, I'm Terry Irwin. And I'm Dindy Owen. Betty, Frida, Anna, and Bjorn. Okay, we're here with Chris, the Bondi Matt. Hi Pete, I'm Tim, I'm 21. Hi Pete, my name's Rebecca. Hey guys, we're here with Hilton. We've got Grace Long. See you next time guys. Favourite interview of the night. <laughs> Cheers Pete. Hi Pete, uh, I'm Kerry and Kelly. <laughs> Heaps of trucks, heaps of adrenaline pumping moments. That's his real hair. How are you, Pete? Here at the Gold Coast Convention Centre at the Asia Pacific Screen Award. One of the bikes we're giving away. Guys, we're here with a special Luke Hemsworth. How are you, mate? Good, mate. How are you? Hey Pete the Surferoo! Where are you? We're getting off here! Hey guys and welcome back to Pete the Surferoo. Got a special celeb here all the way from the Beijing and he's a gold medalist diver, Mr. Matt Mitchum. How are you mate? Well thank you. Now mate it's been a while since we had a chat last time we got up on that big tower and had a dive together mate. Yeah. done quite a lot of things mate. Now medal wise, since I've seen you, silver, how many you got now? Uh, six Commonwealth Games silver medals. Mate, that's not too bad mate. And of course you went in the synchro and you got it in there and you got a gold mate. Finally, I was, I mean, uh, you know, silvers are great, but um, you know, obviously what, it was like, I had an Olympic gold medal and a World Cup gold medal and it was like a Commonwealth Games gold medal was kind of like the only thing 
that was not that was missing from that trifecta and I got four Commonwealth silvers in Delhi and then I got two and then I was thinking that I was just gonna get another silver and that we only just got that gold medal in the end. Wow. So, yeah. Congratulations on Thanks. that mate. More to come. We're actually here at the Gold Coast Grand Prix diving event here mate. Uh, how are you settling in here on the Gold Coast? I mean, uh, this pool has changed so much since I was here last really? time. It's yeah. like completely different. It's really cool. And um, I was talking to a few of the divers too. A lot of the overseas divers have never dived outside. It's all indoors. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah, outdoor pools are starting to become rarer and rarer. So. Wow. But Rio Olympic Games is going to be in an outdoor pool, so we have to get used to it again. Now, um... How's it sort of shaping up? We've got footage of you in your heats here and then we're going into the semi-finals and of course the uh, the big one on Sunday, mate. How's it looking for the uh, individual for yourself and of course the synchro? Um, I have been sort of doing other things um, in my life and I'm just only starting to get back into the full swing of training again to lead up to Rio. Um, so, so I'm very, very early in that, that comeback. Um, yeah, I did surprisingly well, I think, yesterday, um, but I don't know, I don't want to put any expectations there. Yeah. Mate, that's a good way to go. Now, mate, uh, just moving away from diving, not only a celeb in the diving field, but da -da -da dancing with the stars, man. Now, what is your favourite dance? Salsa, merengue, contemporary, mate. What, what's your favourite, mate? Uh, I loved Foxtrot because yeah. it was so just beautiful and, and elegant uh, and samba was really hard but really fun. Sounds good mate. Now uh, the girl that uh, actually won it mm -hmm. was your um, like offside or and you said you might be carrying it on. Are you carrying on the dance side of things now? We've made plans to but we yes. have both just been so busy that we've never actually managed to follow through with it. But yeah yeah we, we totally have plans to. It's amazing like a lot of sports people can't pick it up but you picked it up really easy. Never done dance before? Never. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Yeah. Now, in one of my upcoming episodes, we've got Mark Wilson, who's one of the judges oh, there yeah. too, so he's going to be checking you out as well on okay. this interview. Yeah. Good. Now, um, we've got... Um, what's the big one you're looking for this year, competition-wise? Because this is only a very small scale towards the big Rio. Um, so this event isn't... Um, do, like we, the qualification for Rio isn't dependent on this competition. Yeah. Like what makes this competition special is because it's the first time Australia's hosted an international event for quite a number of years. Wow. Um, but later in the year we have the national championships, which is the first step on the way to qualification for Rio. Wow. Now, just uh, briefly, uh, how many teams have we got from around the world, just roughly, in this in this comp here? Uh, we've got about uh, eight countries, I think. Wow, that's yeah. it's pretty big still. Eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. And and. Girls-wise, who are we looking at? Aussie girls that, that you reckon they're going to get in there for us? Okay, so we've got um, Melissa Wu and um, Brittany Broven yep. on the platform. Cool. Um, they are both in the finals. Oh no, hold on, Melissa's in the finals. Yeah. Brittany just missed out. Wow. Um, and then for the finals on three meter springboard, it should be um, Esther Chin yep. and um, Maddie Keeney are both very, very hot contenders for medals. Sounds good, mate. I know you're a busy man. And mate, you got another comp coming up now, mate. I wish you all the best, mate. Thanks. In future, we'll do maybe another interview with you, but good luck. Gold, gold, gold all the way, mate, for you, for the Rio. Yeah. See you guys. Front of camera, it's about training, looking good, so mean. 
and ready for you guys. It's all happening. Peter Sibiru all the way. Yeah.